so che ci sono cose che non può dirmi, ma so anche che c'è una storia che tutti vorrebbero conoscere. In this film, I'm played by Mark Ruffalo, who looks uh, remarkably like I did back in 2001. We literally hung out. Un parroco di Boston è stato accusato di molestie in sei parrocchie diverse. To his apartment and we talked, I saw, saw what he read and uh, I asked him a lot of questions. You know, we both were raised Catholic. Uh, we both left the church because we saw inconsistencies with the teachings of the church and the actual manifestation of the church. Are you telling me that, that if we want to start with 50 pedophile priests in Boston... Mike, we need to focus on the institution not the individual priests. It was really a lot of fun. Uh, I had Mark Ruffalo in the newsroom shadowing me for two or three days. And uh, Mark is a very generous guy, so watching Mark play me with one of my colleagues from the real Spotlight team, and Mark introduced a little laugh. Spotlight. Dice che ha qualcosa. Continuiamo a cercare. Sasha grabbed my arm and she said, oh my God, got your laugh. It's time, Robbie. They knew and they let it happen. This was a very difficult story to report, not only because of the obstacles we faced in penetrating the veil of secrecy around the Archdiocese of Boston and the Catholic Church. It costs every single one of these people something. Lei mi darà i loro nomi e anche i nomi delle vittime. Cosa fa? And so they're all heroes. The victims are heroes. The, the uh, Garabedian and Marty are heroes. Uh, Sasha, Matt, and Mike are heroes. Their, their families are heroes. When you take on something like this, it costs you. And it's risky and it's scary. And because of that, they have in some way changed the world. The story must be told. Quale storia vuole che raccontiamo? Perché una la racconteremo. One of the most rewarding things about being on the Globe Spotlight team and also about being an investigative reporter is you really have a chance to make the world a better place. They control everything. 